Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another BJ and Co. Destiny video. Today is Friday, June 5th, 2015, which means it's Zer Day! Zer is back in the tower this week, and we're going to show you exactly where he's hiding and what goodies he's got for you this week. So follow me. So we're in the tower, not the reef this week, and we want to go out and hang your left. And he is over by the speaker this week, kind of blending into that door. That big door. I'm hoping for some House of Wolves gear, but based on the averages, I doubt there's going to be that much. I'm guessing we're probably going to have to gamble some this week, but we'll see. So what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Boom! Okay, so nothing new, guys. Uh, but let's take a look. We've got the Helm of the Saint 14 with an intellect roll of 118. Puts it as the highest that Xur has sold. So it definitely could be an upgrade for you if you're looking to get the highest exotics you possibly can. Uh, this one's fun because the Ward of Dawn blinds enemies who enter it. Uh, really interesting for PvP. Uh, can have some use in PvE as well. So if you're Titan, you like to blind people, that's a really great one for you to pick up. In terms of the Hunter, we've got the Young Akamara Spine. Uh, with a discipline roll of 114, puts it at the highest that Xur has ever sold it for. So again, could be an upgrade for you and by quite substantial. Looks like by about 15 points. Uh, trip mine grenades last longer when they are placed. That one can be good for PvP. If you like playing with trip mines, it can be good in PvE as well. Um, I definitely prefer the helmets for the hunter, though. Uh, a lot more versatile there. In terms of the warlock, we've got the obsidian mind with intellect of 75 and strength of 53. Um, obsidian mine's been sold three times by Xur, and it looks like this is a little bit lower than what he sold before. So probably isn't an upgrade for you. Uh, but this one can be fun if you don't have it. Noble bomb kills reduce the cooldown of your noble bomb. So if you can hit tons of enemies in PvP, or sorry, PvE, uh, you just spam that noble bomb all over the place. So that can be really, really interesting. Weapon-wise, we've got the Mighty Multi-Tool. This weapon boosts move speed and fires on a hair trigger, plus the radar stays active while roaming down the site. can be a fun one. Uh, not my favorite exotic gun, but it's a great little scout rifle there if you enjoy scout rifles. For the exotic shard, we have seven strange coins this week, as always. And then the exotic engram is 23 motes of lights, and it's the chest this week. So the first chest one since House of Wolves has come out. Um... Definitely a great place to gamble some motes of light if you've got them, because uh, you can get some more House of Worlds gear, which is always good. In terms of Curios, we've got Skull Rifle Telemetry, Hand Cannon Telemetry, Shotgun Telemetry, Plasma Drive, Emerald Coil, and the Heavy Ammo Synthesis. And of course, you can exchange two strange coins for one mode of light here if you're going to do lots of gambling. So that's what's here this week, guys. Uh, I'm going to be picking up some exotic engrams once I grab some motes of light. Uh, see if I can get some new gear out of that one. Other than that, I've got it all. Might do a little bit of upgrading with uh, some things, but I highly doubt it. Um, I'm happy with what I've got so far, but we'll see. So let us know down below, what are you gonna pick up? I'm very interested to see if anybody's gonna be picking up some of this older stuff, or if everybody's really disappointed because there's nothing new. So yeah, let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to smash that like button. Help support us by subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you wanna see more of this, you can uh, subscribe and You'll get notifications when stuff goes live. Plus, you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, all that fun social media if you want to get notifications of when we go live. So uh, thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys next time.